The order for the fifth rotation. UCLA is on vault. Nebraska the beam. Georgia with floor exercise. And homestanding Utah on the uneven bars. You know, the Utes have led the nation in attendance for 23 of the last 26 seasons. Of course, they keep themselves in great shape at the event. Over 11,000 fans a meet, clearly putting their opponents at a disadvantage. I mean, this is a, a community that has embraced women's gymnastics and knows it. They're, they're a knowledgeable uh, crowd. So I think that will help us. We love to compete in front of them at home. Um, they can get quite rowdy and a little bit noisy, but um, uh, that's the way we like it. What I have experienced with our student athletes is whenever there's a large crowd, a hometown crowd for another team or for our team, it just excites them. I don't think that'll have an effect on the team at all. I think, in fact, if it has any effect, it'll be positive. Utah's Greg Marsden, the sport's only 800 plus win coach with NCAA titles adorning uh, the Huntsman Center here. Last coming 12 years ago, the first true dynasty in gymnastics, Utah. Here's Nina Kim on the bars. Start right up on the high bar. Do a toe handstand. Right into a Sakacha, great height. Trouble there on that pirouette, but pulled it back together on the shoot to handstand and right back up to the high bar. Winding up for, for a full twisting dismount. Oh, and a huge hop. That'll be at least two tenths of a deduction. We'll see what her score is like. She obviously knows that she had that hop at the end. A nine point size. The junior from Virginia, Katie Heenan. Really needs to stick it. Remember the heat on after Child stumbled a couple of moments ago. Well, there it is right there. Beautiful double pipe with a great landing. She's a very entertaining floor routine using a variety of music all the way from Queen to Vanilla Ice. With Ashley Kupetz and Tiffany Tolme on your team, it's easy to perhaps be overlooked, but this is the number nine gymnast on floor exercise overall, number four on vault, and a true leader for the gym dogs. Finish the routine with some great music. You can see her teammates in the background getting pumped up. Beautiful front full front layout, step out. You can see she's very excited about that. A fantastic performance for Katie Heenan with, as we said earlier, a lot of heat on. The rest of this team is really going to have to step up. They want a 10. They stop short of that, but a 9.90 serves them well for Katie Heenan. Earlier, while Katie was on floor exercise, Ashley Postel on the bars trying to keep the Utes in the thick of things. off right with the toe hand half pirouette to blind change beautiful Jaeger coming back with the pack salto between the bars excellent double front very nice routine and she's a leader of a team that knows that Georgia's got the uh, an easier road given the floor exercise and vault left for them. Ashley Postel with a 9.875 on the bars. Now let's join Georgia's Courtney McCool. Her floor exercise is underway. So whip, immediate double full. Something that really stands out with her is right there. Those landings, they're perfect. Her feet are perfectly together. And things like this, a beautiful double turn right here with her leg up. Perfect. Well, you really get a sense, Amanda, here inside the Huntsman Center, the pressure on Georgia. You know, to get that three-peat, they've got to nail virtually every performance the rest of the way in Floor X. Thinking about it makes my palms sweat. And her last pass. Front double full. Very nice. So far, they have really pulled it back together, not just hitting the routines, but nailing them about as perfect as you can. A quality finish for an elite gymnast, Courtney McCool. 
And a quick congratulations from Tiffany Tolnay and Suzanne Yachlin. Another 9.90 for the Gym Dogs. More to come. The best of the best. Courtney Coupets. Meanwhile, UCLA's Valerie Condos Field, her team made it to the Super Six this year after missing out a season, but probably won't do any better than a fourth place finish. Tasha Swigert is uh, ready to go on the vault. Well, she knows what she needs to do. She's doing a Yurchenko full. She always gets great height. It's gonna come down to the landing for her. Slight hop, but big vault. Yeah, she's had an outstanding championship the last two events. And uh, there you see the numbers, 9.90, a cumulative score of 49.40 on the vault for UCLA. Christina Basquette over to bars now. While McCool was on the floor for Georgia earlier, here's the 2006 bars champion. Come on, Chris, let's go! She has great lines on this event. Giant full, right to a giant half, reverse. Reversing your swing to Kachev right down to a pack salt, a beautiful form. This home crowd really knows how important this routine is. Double layout, very nice landing. That should keep Utah on Georgia's radar. And she knows it. Sign of the Utes. Christina Basquet with a 9.85. Over to floor exercise. This is exciting. Tiffany Tolnay underway on the floor. Their second tumbling pass. Front full, front layout. Remember, the heat is still on that they continue to nail these routines after the Nikki Giles stumbled early in this rotation. Well, and it seems like it's almost pumping them up to even be cleaner with these routines. I haven't seen them get very much away from landings to their dance. Using a variety of country music. Well, this is an eye-popping performance. It really is. Captivates everyone, including the Utah crowd. To getting the crowd pulled in right there. She's catching her breath for that last tumbling pass. Finishing with a double pike. Takes a lot of endurance and strength, but can be risky on the landing. Perfect. Oh, saddle up for the stretch run, right? <laughs> Tiffany Tolnay with another incredible back to the wall performance for Suzanne Yachlin's team. It is amazing the numbers they've put up since the child's routine, 9.925. For Tiffany. Now here is Nicole Ford in her senior year, closing out her career at Utah, and her father, Charles, obviously emotional at this uh, very crucial time in her career. And for Utah, on the bars, they really need her to come through. Starts the routine right off with a Pike Jaeger. Great height there. She was above the bar. As well as a ginger, beautiful form right to a shoot over. She finishes the routine with a double layout. Winds up for power. Wow. She couldn't have done her last bar routine any better than that. Yeah, that says it all. A 9.90. And look at the numbers on the bars for Utah. 49.10. And for him, it was a 10. Right back over to the floor we go, where anchor Courtney Coupets, Amanda trying to put the finishing touches on the floor exercise. This is her second tumbling pass, front layout, Rudy right to Shushinova. This is a great event for her, like we talked with Tasha. She puts energy into every movement sells every part of it, not just from sticking the tumbling passes, but to pulling the crowd and the judges into this routine. One tumbling pass to go. Finishing out with the double pike. Wow, what a rotation for Georgia, and to finish it with that, 
Whew. Courtney Coupets, once again, she's got their back, and they know it. That concludes. Suzanne Yachlin is stoked, and why not? A 9.95. Look at that. Not one score under a 9.90 after Childs' miscue. As you look at the standings, UCLA and Nebraska have completed their competition. Florida still very much in it. Utah will move to the beam, but for Georgia, a chance at a little piece of